in the Western Cape. The following parties will be represented in the legislature for the next five years. Al Jama at one seat, the Freight Front Plus one seat, the African Christian Democratic Party with one seat, and Good with one seat, the Economic Freedom Fighters with two seats. The official opposition in the province is the African National Congress with 12 seats. And the majority party in Western Cape is the Democratic Alliance with 24 seats. <laughs> Distinguished guests, fellow South African, despite the rapid growth in number of political parties contesting the national elections since 1994. The number of political parties represented in parliament has remained fairly constant at around 13 political parties. From this year, despite the record number of 48 political parties contesting in this year, national elections and provincial elections, in the national election, voters will have 14 parties representing them. The following parties will be represented in the sixth national assembly. Al Jama with one seat, the Pan-Africanist Congress with one seat, the African Independent Congress with two seats, the African Transformation Movement with two seats, the Congress of the People with two seats, Good with two seats, the United Democratic Movement with two seats, the National Freedom Party with two seats, the African Christian Democratic Party with four seats. The Freight Front Plus with 10 seats. Inkata. Inkata Freedom Party with 14 seats. And the Economic Freedom Fighters with 44 seats. The official opposition in the sixth parliament will be the Democratic Alliance with 84 seats. And finally, distinguished guests and fellow South Africans, for the sixth time in 26th year in a row, the majority party in the National Assembly of South Africa will be the African National Congress with 230 seats. <laughs> On behalf of the Electoral Commission, we congratulate all the parties and contestants who have won the representation in the National Assembly and provincial legislatures. We call on all the candidates who will soon take their oath of office to serve the people of South Africa with pride, with dignity, with integrity, and with accountability, for that is what our Constitution calls for and our people deserve. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen.